Speaking of traditions, I think we should add the uh, kite festival today, huh? Uh, yeah, it would have been beautiful We today. missed the boat. <laughs> we did. Well, hopefully next weekend will shape up nicely. Yeah. But uh, to put it off for tomorrow, uh, it's going to be yeah. okay. I mean, we have a good chance for some showers and thunderstorms if you could even be on the strong side. So. Unless you're Ben Franklin. That's not a good <laughs> idea to be on. That's right. So let's start off uh, talking about what's going on right now first. We'll get through tonight because it's going to remain pretty mild. This is just a stunning sunset, by the way. A downtown camera uh, facing west with the clouds that are kind of stretched across the area. We have looking at beautiful colors. If you happen to snap a picture, I'd really like to see it. You can email us, report it at kxan.com. But overall, just a gorgeous sunset right now. 78 degrees, still too warm at this hour. We'll drop only to 73 by 10 p.m. So if you have plans this evening, it's going to stay on the warm side. Right now, we're at 79 in Lano, mid 70s for all of the metro area, and still hanging on to the upper 70s for our eastern counties. Partly cloudy, 78 at Camp Mabry, mostly cloudy, 76 there at the airport. Winds have been breezy all day long, too, with out of the south and southeast up to about uh, 15, 20 miles an hour. They'll finally start dropping as we get through uh, the overnight. Now, look at satellite and radar. Starting to see some cloud cover uh, continuing to thicken up out over West Texas. This is all in advance of our next system. Right now, that low bringing a lot of rain to California. Some pretty serious conditions there with the amount of rain they've seen over southern, <coughs> excuse me, California. But that low is going to track east uh, right over the panhandle and bring us a chance for rain uh, throughout the day tomorrow as a cold front moves through our area. So hour by hour through your forecast. Overnight tonight, we're going to see overcast skies, uh, some patchy light rain from here and there. As we get through tomorrow morning, we start to see the cold front working its way into the hill country. Line of showers, maybe even a few thunderstorms along that front. Makes its way into the metro area uh, right around midday, right around noon. And we could see a possibility of one or two stronger storms around this time frame as that front pulls through kind of some of the deeper moisture along our eastern counties. Now, as that front clears the area by the afternoon into the early evening, we'll see the gusty north winds really picking up anywhere between 15, 25 miles an hour, and they will bring in much, much colder air through the afternoon, too. So let's talk about that small chance for one or two stronger storms, severe storms. So there's a slight risk area out from the Storm Prediction Center that includes everywhere north and east of Austin. Possibility for one or two storms to have a little bit larger hail as well as gusty winds with them. Situation we'll be watching very closely as that cold front pulls through the area. Kind of our first uh, severe threat so far this spring. Now temperatures, we're going to see them climb to around 73 before that front comes in. Once it does, temperatures will drop quickly by 4 p.m. We're into the 50s, 40s by later in the evening, and then starting out Monday in the 20s. So very cold. Winter is right back for the first part of next week. Temperatures tonight, though, will be very mild, upper 60s out there. For tomorrow, we'll top out in the low 70s right before that front comes in. Out in the hill country, you probably won't even hit 70, though, before the front moves into your region. 67 in Austin tonight, overcast, a little patchy fog, too. Tomorrow, showers, a few thunderstorms, one or two could be strong. 73, and temperatures falling all afternoon long. Check out the temperatures Monday, 28 to start out, 40s in the afternoon. Freezing mark again early Tuesday. We could see temperatures in the mid 40s in the afternoon with a small chance for showers.